What's up, people? Welcome to the session. How are you guys doing? I hope that you and your loved ones are doing good. My name is Anup, and very warm welcome to Vidanta Ninth and Tenth English Channel. So yes, guys, this is the Bridge Course, the Prodigy Course, where we are trying to link what all you have studied in the lower grades to the chapters that you're going to be having in your Tenth Standard. Because electricity is not a new chapter for you people, because you've already studied this. Now, if you know what Prodigy itself means, Prodigy is nothing but a person who's you know. Was extraordinarily talented, and I believe that all of you guys are also extremely, extremely talented. All you need to do is find the right path. All you need to do is that, guys, find out the right path for you guys, and yes, everything will work out by itself. So, welcome to the session. Welcome to Electricity Prodigy session number two, the introduction for class ten. Now, here's the thing, guys. You have studied electricity in your lower grades as well. So, let's just do a quick backtrack as to what you remember from the previous sessions because you know previous grades you've already studied all this so i'm going to ask you a series of basic questions what i want you to do is very simple take a piece of paper and have a pen and whatever the answer you feel is the right one for all, let's say that the first question the answer is option number b write it down on that notebook or if you want you can put it down in the comment section as well whatever works for you guys but make sure that you do so because guys this is a good way to check if you really remember the concepts that you've studied in the past all right so i believe that you're going to be truthful to yourself with that said fingers crossed touch wood let's begin here we go the first thing is this guys in your sixth grade you had studied something called as electricity and circuits in that you learned a couple of concepts we'll talk about that as well in your seventh grade as well you talked about electric current and its effects so in your sixth grade you studied about electric cell electric bulbs electric circuits conductors as well as insulators in your seventh grade you talked about symbols of electric components like you remember right you know a switch is represented in a different way a cell is represented in a different way so you talked about that heating effect of electric current the magnetic effect of electric current how do electromagnets work and how does an electric bell work so you had already studied about all that in your seventh grade so based on these concepts i'm going to ask you a series of questions so be honest let's get started here we go be honest all right i can see you there cheating all right don't cheat here we go the first question is cell is a device which converts chemical energy to mechanical energy electrical energy to light energy electrical energy to mechanical energy or sorry magnetic energy or none of the above i'll give you five seconds now again guys if you need more time all you have to do is pause the video give the answer but be truthful be extremely extremely truthful all right like imagine this is your exam imagine i'm the invigilator i'm watching you people all right through your webcam <laughs> yes just kidding dad all right five four three two one the answer to this question guys is actually option number a see guys a cell has certain chemicals inside of it and those chemicals when they react that is what produces electrical energy so the electrical energy the chemical energy that is present the chemical the chemicals present inside the cell reacts and that is what creates electrical energy so chemical energy is what is converted to electrical energy in the case of a cell simple right it's quite simple you use cell you know that everyday cells and what not what else is that dura cell and all that they all work in the exact same manner second question a battery is a single cell a combination of cells in which cells are joined from positive to negative terminals a combination of cells in which cells are joined from positive to positive terminals or none of the above another easy question i'm gonna give you five seconds four three two one the answer to this question is option number b it's a combination of cells guys it's a combination of cells uh two or more cells is what is called as a battery and when a battery is connected it's always that the negative terminal is connected to the positive terminal so imagine you have two batteries negative sorry positive negative positive negative that's how it's supposed to be you cannot connect it as negative positive and positive and negative that is not possible at all or it, neither can you connect, connect it as positive negative negative and positive in both these cases the circuit would not work only in the first case where the positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery or of the cell of one other that is where the battery would actually work otherwise it would not all right that's another thing you must remember next one a substance which allows the electricity to pass through it is called as what oh my god this is like this is a third standard question 
think this is the third standard question this is not even so this is not even sixth standard material this is third standard question a substance which allows electricity to pass through it is called as what a conductor an insulator and semiconductor or a superconductor a substance which allows electricity to pass through it is called as what in 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 it's conductor it's conductor people conductors are those objects which allows electricity electric current to pass through them insulators do not allow the current to pass through them and semiconductors again you'd study that a, a later on uh, you know the uh, conduct electricity at a certain point uh, in the start they might not but they allow electricity to pass through them after some time we'll talk about that later so anyways next one Uh, and superconductors have very less uh, resistance again we'll talk about those later which one which one of the following is based on the heating effect of electric current now you know the you remember the heating effect of electric current that is when current is passing through a conductor that is basically because of the resistance there's a uh, heat energy produced as well out some amount of electrical energy is converted to heat energy so which of those which of these work with respect to that options geysers uh hair dryer immersion rods or all of the above immersion rods you remember those things that you have for heating up water when you when you don't have uh you know these what do you call those as water heaters and stuff you use a immersion rod in order you just dip it in the bucket of water right so that is what is an immersion rod right, right? so any guys guys in 5 4 3 2 1 and the answer quite simple option number d or the geyser is also it geyser also it's that you know uh, you have filament inside of it which converts the electrical energy to heat energy which heats up the water hair dryer also you have a filament inside of it which basically uh, you know uh, keeps the air cool you know the cool air is converted to hot air when it comes in contact with it and immersion rods also convert heat energy so electrical energy to heat energy that's it they all have higher resistance which is why they are able to convert that into heat energy next one the fifth question is the amount of heat produced in a wire depends on what the material the length the thickness or all of the above the amount of heat energy produced in a wire depends on what the material of the wire the length of the wire the thickness or all of the above what do you think so i mean what is the answer people and again be truthful be honest put it down in your notebook put it down in the comment section if you have to whatever it is but make sure that you do so because guys again it is a revision session it's not for you to just sit and watch all right so here we go be interactive in 5 4 3 2 1 i'm watching you webcam remember the answer to this is all of the above it depends on the material because some materials have high resistance which will produce more amount of heat energy length is also another factor the more the length more is the resistance more is the heat energy produced less is the length lesser would be the heat energy produced less is the resistance and it also depends on the thickness greater the thickness the lesser the resistance so less is the heat energy less is the thickness greater the resistance so greater the heat energy as well Voila, that's another answer. Simple people. So yeah, guys. Again, uh, we have lots and lots of things planned for you guys this year, and trust me, it's gonna be one roller coaster of a ride. We will be teaching you every single subject, everything that you need to ace your board exams. We will be providing that over here. but apart from this if you need more help you need more uh, clarity in concepts you want to learn with us even more from all the teachers you can also enroll into the v pro courses or vidantu pro courses now let me tell you what are those courses before you make a decision so let me do quickly take you through that as well guys first of all people you have unlimited number of sessions in vpro courses and all of these sessions would have some high level quizzes as well and these quizzes gives you an opportunity to give a chance to compete with your peers and understand how good of uh, how good of a grasp you have in that chapter and what are the things that you must work on what are the weaker areas you'll be able to understand with the help of these quizzes and with this guys every single session is recorded because obviously all the sessions are live and yes because live sessions you know it's not that if you don't attend it once you can never see it again no all the sessions are recorded and even though it is a recording you can even take the quizzes while watching the replay as well so it's an interactive replay session so while watching the replay also you can take the quizzes and check out the leaderboards and see where you would have been if you had attended the live session and with this people we understand that notes are very important so yes every single thing that you see on your screen all the pdfs are downloadable you can download it you can refer to it you can make a note of it anything that you want to do with it it's all up to you guys and yes people 
your doubts will be answered inside the class as well as outside the class as well inside the class you have someone called as a class teacher who will ensure all of your doubts are cleared inside the class right there and then and yes you will have some amazing tests and assignments waiting for you people and these tests and assignments my god the questions are just amazing which is definitely going to blow your head off and it is definitely going to help you to prepare better for your board exams and for your pre-boards and all the exams that you're planning to you know too and yes guys we have a lot of other activities also going on we have med meditation sessions going on we have stress buster sessions going on we have uh tons and tons of vedic math se math session going on so there are a lot of things that is waiting for you people lots and lots of micro courses lots and lots of value for money is what you're going to get so what are you supposed to do very simple guys all you do is go to the description of this video and click on the link. If you want me to show you, it's quite simple, people. Let me just quickly show what it is like. Okay, let me just open up. Uh, I, okay, I, unfortunately, I haven't opened up the tab. All right, anyways. So, guys, you can check it out. The link is given in the description. Once you open the link, guys, this is what you're going to get. So, the link will help you to take you through the entire this thing. Whatever grade you want, whatever batch you want, you can choose that right there and then. Now, there are three subscription models you have vedantu light vedantu classic and vedantu pro now all these three have their own advantage and disadvantage let me just quickly take you through this so that you can have a better picture of what uh, what you can expect in these kind of uh, these options all right so vedantu light has everything that you need you have live interactive sessions you'll have test analysis and test series you'll have notes and uh, you know everything that is available to you guys you'll have doubt solving inside the session but there'll be no doubt solving outside the session and this this particular uh, you know, course or this particular uh, you know light would cost you about 2600 rupees for one month and again on top of that you'll get a discount as well so basically you have to click on apply coupon and automatically discount coupon, discount also will be applied to it and if you go for the one month program if you, that is the one month program if you go for the complete program that's 30,499 rupees but if you use the coupon code guys the price from 2600 rupees will drop down to 2340 rupees now now, even though that looks like a lot of money let me tell you why it is not let me come back to that later all right so if you go for the uh, classic guys the thing about classic is that you will also have doubt solving outside the session as well so even after the session is done you can get your doubts cleared in the Vidanto app you will have time uh, you know from eight o'clock in the morning till night 11 you can get whatever doubts you have everything can be cleared during this duration of time and again over here the one month program is about 3300 rupees a little bit more because you're getting a lot more as well from this and the uh, year long program is 38999 rupees if you have a lot of money go with that as well so if we go for the one month program guys again automatically coupon code is applied to it so the price drops on 2970 rupees over here again i'll tell you why it is not much more money and finally guys if you go for without plus you also get someone called as a personal mentor this personal mentor will ensure that all of your doubts are cleared outside the session he'll be with you from the start of your academic year till the end of it he'll make sure that you have one-to-one -one sessions to clear your doubts he will make sure that you are guided in the right manner so every problem whatever it is that the personal mentor will ensure that everything is sorted right there and then and yes it's going to be a little bit more because you are getting a lot more service you'll have a dedicated personal mentor for that so one month program for this is around 4700 rupees and the year long program for this is 55,999 rupees now again on top of that the coupon code will be applied to it so the price drops on 4230 rupees for the one month program now let me tell you why guys let me tell you why this even though it looks like a lot of money is really not see guys let's say that you go for the one month program all right so let's say that you take the one month program that's 2600 rupees which drops around 2400 rupees now in this 2400 rupees you're getting all the subjects you're getting english math science that is physics physics chemistry math you know biology as well as social science every single subject is covered so all six subjects are basically covered in this courses so in this one month duration everything would be covered which means that you're paying roughly about what uh, around uh, what is that around what around 
400 rupees per per subject around 300 to 400 subject, rupees is what you're going to paying you what you're going to be paying per subject so think about it like you know you might be think you know you might most of you guys might be going tuitions to nearby teachers even i used to do that but you're getting all that rather than paying 300 rupees 400 rupees elsewhere you know in one one places you can be getting all of that in one sh one shot so it's basically like a one-stop shop for all of your educational purpose so yes guys you're gonna give it you're, you're gonna get a lot of value for money and if you talk about in terms of you know per session cost also it's not going to be so much because per session also you'll be paying about 11 rupees roughly uh you know per session because in one month duration you have attended about 200 sessions that means that per session you have been paying about 11 rupees so yeah guys again you have unlimited micro courses and because of all of that case the price actually drops down so even though it looks massive but it's really not so much at all right because anyways you'll be spending a lot of that uh in outside itself so yes guys these are all the dates that the batches are starting from again do not miss out on these batches because once these batches are filled up they'll uh you know you'll be moved to the next ones so the next one will be starting a little bit more later so we have cbc 9th and 10th starting from 10th of may which have, which has just started recently and there's another batch which is starting from 24th of may if you're someone who wants to just start from the very beginning 24th of may is the batch that you should go for now again and guys the seats are filling up really really fast because again uh, everyone wants to enroll into the courses so yeah uh, make sure that you do it much more faster so that you know you don't regret it later because the sooner you start the better it gets for you guys icc 24th of may for 9th as well as 10th to 10th it's 17th of may unfortunately and uh, maharashtra it's going to be a 24th of may and 10th standard is, is already started from 10th of may j if you're moving from 10th to 11th 10th of may there's only there's already one batch started 24th of may there's another batch starting and neat 10th of may uh, a batch has already started and 24th of may would be the second set of batch that'll be starting all right the link is given in the description guys so you can check that out right anyways so people what are we going to study in 10th I've been blabbering, blabbering, blabbering. Let's talk about 10th standard, right? So what can you expect from this chapter? Let me just give you a quick chapter outline. What is it that you can expect? You have current and potential difference. What is current? What is potential difference? What is Ohm's law? What is resistance? And what are the factors affecting resistance? What are the combinations of resistor, both series as well as parallel? And, you know, a combination of both series and parallel as well. Heating effect of electric current and what is electric power and energy? So again, guys, we have divided this chapter into these kind of sections you have electric current ohms law resistance resistance in series and parallel as one set then you have put electric potential and put electric potential difference as one set and heating effective electric current and electric power and energy now all of these sessions are coming up pretty soon on this channel so make sure you subscribe because there are like i told you guys there's a lot of amazing things waiting for you guys we have been planning for this for a long time now this is going to be a fun filled year so make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure that you like the video thank you for joining catch you guys in the next one until the next time we meet this is anup signing off for the day love you all and make sure that you stay home and stay safe until the next time we meet this is anup signing off for the day have a great day ahead bye bye see you all guys take care